baskets today, guys. Our first one is going to be Paw Patrol. I hope all is well and that you guys are having a good day. We're going to let a few more get in before we start, guys. Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a good day. Hello, Karen. How are you? Let's see, I need to get two eggs for this gift. Let me make sure I have that. Okay, I think I got everything I need. Hello, guys. Hello, Tasha. I'm doing good. I'm just trying to cr get these gifts cranked out, girl. That's all I've been doing. That's been my story for the last, what, 30 days or more. <laughs> Hello, premium gifts. <laughs> okay. Okay, Karen, you're at work. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to make a few gifts. Um, the first one we're going to do is going to be a Paw Patrol. Um, so the items that we're going to use uh, is going to be this Paw Patrol mini uh, jet play set. So it looks like a little airplane. And then it has two of the uh, dogs in here. So we're going to use that. Remember I got this yesterday from uh, Family Dollar. Check out that sale, guys, if you all haven't done so yet. Hello, Kimberly. How you doing? I talked about you in my last two lives. That idea you had with those um, wood boxes from uh, Dollar General. I uh, am going to piggyback on that idea, and I'm going to put some, uh, put a plushie in and some snacks, put some little grass in the bottom, but that was a good idea. I think you were doing it for your sister, and she was doing it for her uh, uh, employees that she supervised, so that was an excellent idea. Okay, guys, and we're going to also use this 48-piece uh, puzzle. I got some, oops, I got some chalk here, sidewalk chalk. I have this uh, Paw Patrol Magnetic Activity. I have that. I have some crayons. I have the uh, Paw Patrol. These are called the slap rulers. You know they have those bracelets. Slap bracelets. So that's what this is. Okay. So there are three in this pack. I have my crossbow here. Uh, this beanbag toss game. I have a little puppy dog here, a little plush puppy. Have my bubble wand. Have my Paw Patrol kite. And I have my Paw Patrol jumbo coloring book. Okay. So what I've been doing, guys, if I have at least um three of that particular theme i am going to uh still create a basket around that so that's what i'm doing with the paw patrol okay so with the paw patrol i have the kite the coloring book the puzzle magnetic activity set the little uh slap rulers and this little uh mini uh jet play set so those are going to be my main pieces so with this kite, when I use kites in my uh, designs, 
if it's not one of the tower designs that I'm doing, then I try to keep the height at a, at a minimum. The reason I do that is because I'm not really sure how large the bag is I'm going to need, uh, first of all. So I know in my mind already that the largest uh, cello bag I have is going to be uh, 30 by 40. Um, I know that the uh, largest shrink wrap bag I have is 24 by 32. Or is it? Yeah, I think it's 24 by 32. And um, I have also the cello roll. So irregardless to the size, I will be able to wrap it. It's just I'm trying to go as fast as I can now with time being an issue. So I definitely want to try and create gifts where I can use my cello bags, you know, design them, uh, wrap them up, put a bow on it, put it to the side. I'm ready for the next one. Okay. So, uh, and that's another reason I chose not to shrink wrap anything for Easter. Um... First of all, it seemed like I was just going at a turtle pace. I was going really slow, seemed like. And when you shrink wrap, you can run into all types of issues. If you haven't burned a, <laughs> a little hole in your bag, uh, something else going wrong during the, the shrink wrap process, then you're going to have to discard that bag, get another one, or some people just put a piece of tape over it. But my luck is always... The hole or where I burn it is right in the front, you know, and I don't like to, you know, put things out like that if I can help it. So with the cello bags, it's speeding up my process. Um, I don't have to shrink wrap. And then sometimes I'll look at the finished product and say, that just doesn't look good. You know, it's a wrinkle here or something too much there. So I didn't want to deal with the shrink wrap. And um, that's helped me a whole lot. Um... But I love my shrink wrap. I will be doing a lot of shrink wrap for Mother's Day coming up, okay? So, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Hello, Creative Living. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, Kimberly, I didn't see you on the last one. <laughs> okay. So, I already have, I did my little preliminary work. I have my little, uh, little basket already full. And the base is ready to go. Um, so what I'm going to do with this kite, I'm going to, I left room in the back here of my container. And I'm going to make sure that I have you in a good, okay, it looks like it's, okay. Just want to make sure I have you in the, the camera range. All right, guys, and please hit that thumbs up for me. You don't have to leave out of the live. Just hit the three dots in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. And you will see the thumbs up button there. I would appreciate it uh, if you show your support for my channel that way. I'm not asking for any money. Uh, <laughs> even though they do have on, on my channel where you can do the super thanks and stuff like that. As you notice, I don't I don't announce that. Um, but I will be on y'all about the thumbs up. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be on y'all about that part. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to slant this just a little bit to the side, my little kite. I'm not going to have it straight up, um, but I want to make sure I have it within a certain height. I don't want it to be too tall, okay? So I'm just going to angle it like that. And then I'm going to go in with my largest item, which is my beanbag toss, okay? I'm going to put that there. And I think I'm also going to put one of my acrylic dowels in just to make sure that everything stays stable in the back of this container. And guys, I've been looking for some more of these containers. I have been checking Dollar Trees everywhere and I have not seen them. Have any of you all uh, seen any or know why they aren't around anymore? I know I've been seeing the small size and the shape just like that, but I have not been able to find any of the large ones. And there's always some, even if it's a color you don't like, you still can always find some, but 
I hadn't been lucky in that department. Okay, so I'm going to take down my box. Okay, so I have my box taped down, guys. That's going to be my support. Hello, Commander Alpha Turkey. How are you doing? <laughs> I like that. Everyone in the chat is silent watchers. <laughs> I like that. But you know what? Even before the... the um, I had enough to design for Easter, but even before Easter, I wasn't seeing them. So I'm wondering what's going on. Okay, so I'm I just hope that they uh, keep them out because uh, I need to stock up for Mother's Day. Okay, so we have our beanbag toss in. Now I'm going to go in with the crossbow. I probably should have did the crossbow, but it, it, it it's okay. It's okay like it is. Yeah, I was just thinking I probably should have did the crossbow first, but still when I put this coloring book, you're not going to be able to see, you know, you wouldn't have been able to see the beanbag toss anyway. So let's see here. Yeah, either way it went, you wouldn't be able to see it. So I'm just going to have them like this. Just have it peeping out. I'll probably do this part this side so you can at least see the Paw Patrol words there. And I'll do it like that. Okay. All right. So now we're going to get to the middle section of the basket. And I want to put in my puzzle. I'm just trying out some different little layouts, guys. him in the center I may have to have my little puppy's little legs coming out the basket just a little bit is a little bit wide there. It's a little bit wide. Okay. I'll put this here because I'm going to have my snacks that I'm going to have to get in because I'm looking at my cotton candy and um, that's going to be there. put my magnetic activity set on top of the cotton candy and you guys know I normally put my uh, snacks in last but because of the shape of the items I'm using and me wanting to use this one container here I'm going to um, you know be using them the toys and the snacks interchangeably so I can get everything fitted in Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take all of this down. Let's put a little bit of tape under this box. I'm going to stick this right 
here. I'm going to take it to the base of the container. Okay, and the puzzle, I'm going to put a little bit of tape under it so we can hold it to the base. I'm just going to butt it right up against the jet play set. And take it to the base as well. Okay. It looks nice. Everything's looking good so far, guys. I'm going to put a little bit of tape under my cotton candy. I can't remember. Did I tell you guys, when I went to Family Dollar yesterday, they had, um, what kind of candy was that? You know, you guys remember those big boxes of Whitman chocolates? Um, that had the red uh, bow on it for Valentine's Day. They had about 20 of those on the shelf. I scanned it. It had one penny. So I said, let me check and see uh, how Family Dollar does their pennies. And uh, when I got to the restaurant, they said, I'm sorry, we can't sell you this now that it's gone to a penny. They won't let us sell it. I'm like... Okay, of course I didn't give her any, any trouble. Um, but I do remember after that, I said, I think I remember somebody saying that they uh, either don't sell penny items or it's up to the manager whether they want to charge you, I think, 50 cents or something like that and sell it. But it still had uh, uh, three weeks of shelf life on it still. Um, but I hate I couldn't take advantage of that, guys. I said, all that good candy. She said, and all they're going to do is throw it out. I said, this, this is, I, I still don't understand the, the, the concept or reasoning for that. Why not sell it? If you can get anything off of it, why not sell it? You know, I can see if it's expired. Of course, you don't, you shouldn't even have that, you know, on the sales floor. But, um, I just... I don't understand they're putting it in the trash. And she said something about uh, once it pennies out, it's no longer in the register or in the in the in the system. It's no longer in the system. And then I said to myself, if it's not in the system, you scanned it and it's showed a penny. Is it just showing? Uh, I wonder what the description says when they scan it because I think if a price comes up there's some description coming up with it so I don't know if they have not saying do not sell or I don't know I don't know how they do that hello Chandra yeah yeah but I knew that they um had those markdowns. Um, I think it was Tiny's Creation. Um, I think it was Saturday. It was either Saturday, Sunday, or somewhere in there. She uh, put a video. She posted a video, and that's how I knew to go there and look for stuff. So that's why I had that, that little haul I shared with you guys yesterday. I'm just going to keep a check on it. For them to keep going down. But almost everything that she shared on that uh, video was, was available in my store. I don't know what area she's in. But they had almost the same stuff at my uh, Family Dollar too. have to put this uh, bubble wand you always have to put that with something that's really uh, secure because you don't want this heavy thing to start 
tearing up things in your basket. Okay. So everything's looking good, guys. I'm going to put my little magnetic activity set up here. I was tempted to go to Dollar uh, General today, but I said I'll wait. Wait till tomorrow, then I can use my, uh, no, I mean uh, Saturday, so I can use my little coupon. Let's see what else they have, because I know uh, some of those red dot items that I saw, I know they probably won't be available on Saturday. Uh, they may already be gone. But there were a few, I said, I'm going to come back and get these. But I thought that the red dot was going to be 90% this week, but it wasn't. It's still 70, 70, 75, something like that. So I said, okay. Have to wait another week to get the additional savings, but I said, that's okay. I'm always in there anyway, so I'll get what I need. I just got to keep looking and make sure I find these baskets because right after Easter, I'm going straight into Mother's Day. Um, a lot of my uh, pajamas and house shoes and things, they're, uh, they should be here uh, at least in the next week, week and a half. And uh, also, guys, I know a lot of you guys have been talking about Bodycology at Walmart. So those of you that... Uh, either don't want to go to Walmart like me, <laughs> don't have one close by you, or whatever. You can always go online and still buy those same items. Granted, they will be cheaper if you go in person, because I heard that they had clearance on a lot of the body ecology. As a matter of fact, let me, I always do this, guys. I always want to go get something to show you guys, but I'm going to go get something to share with you. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, because what I've been doing uh, during this uh, Easter um, design season, I've been ordering just a little pieces at a time because I've been buying Easter stuff, ordering Mother's Day stuff all at the same time. So this body ecology that I uh, saw last week on uh, Walmart's uh, website, this is the two-in-one uh, body wash bubble bath the container is absolutely gorgeous in person the color is teal and that orange is so pretty this is a 16 ounce uh size and uh it was for i had a coupon they sent me a complimentary coupon because i had some orders that were coming late and i paid for the walmart plus so I think this was like $4.30 or something like that. Um, so I got uh, five of these and I got five of the body cream. And it smells so good, guys. Because last Mother's Day, even though I pretty much sold out, I um, had a lot of people asking if I had, you know, something a little bit cheaper. Now, I did have probably maybe 10 gifts that had body ecology in, um, but I didn't, you know, have any more than that. So, I said this year, I'm going to do more, uh, more of a variety of body ecology uh, because I pretty much had like 90% Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret combined. So this time, I'm going to try to do uh, three, three, and three. And um, 
have more inexpensive uh, body washes and lotions and stuff for those that don't want to don't want to or can't spend that much so you all might want to uh, check those of you that haven't gone on Walmart's website yet uh, you might want to check um, and see if you can find uh, something I also uh, ordered today I ordered I think it's called strawberries and cream or something like that. I ordered that. Or was it? It's between either strawberries and cream or is one that says sweet love. It, it was one of those two. Um, so, guess to put that little, little bit of information out there for those that are still looking for stuff for Mother's Day. Or if you hadn't started, you can still go, go and check. Okay, Rosemarie. Okay, welcome. Thank you so much for that information. Rosemarie said that Walgreens has 90% off winter apparel and nice stuff for uh, uh, Christmas baskets. Yeah, because I'm going to do Christmas this year too. Hi, Philanda. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get back um, to our design here. So I'm going to put in trying to see where I want to put my little chalk. I don't want to completely cover up the, uh, the little puppies on the Paw Patrol box. So I'm going to slant it just a little bit here. Okay, and then um, the crayons, I'll just put those in front of, or on the side of the cotton candy container. Okay, so I have my little dog here in the center, and these little slap, uh, little rulers, I'm going to, let's see, where do I want to put these? These are really no big deal here. Um, so I can just put, pretty much place them anywhere. Okay, so now it's time for our snacks. Okay, let me make sure you all got a good view of this basket. Okay, okay, Creative Living, you said they reset to the regular price. What is, do you know what the regular price is? Because I don't know what the regular price is. The only time I've ever bought it has been on sale. Is it about 9 or $10 each? <laughs> Never admit, you say you're not going to go back to the store. Girl, I know how it is. <laughs> I know how it is. I know. I know. Because I'll be struggling with that. Don't let me go and start looking at videos and I see somebody saying something about a sale somewhere. <laughs> I'll be like, well, I wasn't going to get out today, but I'm going to get up. I know how it is, honey. I know how it is. I don't want to miss no good sales. here. I'm going to put them in this spot here. I'm just crunch them a little bit. Just kind of get it a little flat. Just a little. Okay, so I have my Doritos there. Okay, 
nice little spot back here, just right size, just the right size. See here, got our fruit loops here. I'll put them right here in front of the bubble wand. Okay. See here, what do I want to put? Okay, I have another little area over here. Oreos here. I'm going to put the welches here. Okay. Okay, Creator Living, you said $5.95 for the spray. Okay. Yeah, they know they really they want to get you in their store because that's where they can really make some good some good sales. Okay, let's see here. Let's put our Skittles. Just put them on top of the cotton candy. Or let's see, should I raise it up some? Uh, let's see. Just a little bit. Try not to cover up that Paw Patrol sign there. Okay, so we have our Skittles there. I'm going to put some glue dots on this egg. And I'm going to put this one on top of the cotton candy. put right here. I already have them already stuffed with candy. Okay. And so the last thing I have here is an airhead.
Okay. So guys, I think we're finished with this one. Okay, so we have our little plush little doll here. We have the, what is this Paw Patrol thing? A little mini aircraft thingy. <laughs> Paw Patrol puzzle. Cotton candy, magnetic activity set. Got our Paw Patrol coloring book. We have our Paw Patrol kite. We have the uh, beanbag toss game. It's good for the summertime outdoors. We have our crossbow set. And we have our uh, Paw Patrol uh, slap ruler. Our crayons. Our sidewalk chalk. And all of our lovely snacks, guys. So this one is finished, guys. We're going to move on to the next one. Um, never in a million. I think I'm going to start either next Thursday or Friday. Yeah, it'll probably be next, next Thursday or Friday. Okay, let's see what's going to be our next one. Uh, we're going to do this, this little LOL here. And in this one, we have our necklace, our gummy bear necklace. We have our backpack. I stuffed it with craft paper. We have our uh, LOL Twins styling head here. She has some beautiful two shades of yellow hair. And we have our LOL Jumbo Coloring and Activity Book. I'm going to get a label to put over here because these, uh, some of these coloring books, you cannot take the price sticker off. It's part of the cover. Okay, so we have our LOL cup here, the sidewalk chalk, our finger paint soap, uh, Screaming Green is the name, I have the crayons, LOL little coin purse, I have the beautiful uh, keychain here, little smiley face and heart eyes. I have the LOL uh, surprise, the bubble surprise. Okay. Beautiful bunny headband. And our beautiful nail set. Okay. And these are the pretty lavender. And look like they have glitter in them. They're, those are really cute. And you can also apply these stickers to the, the nails as well. And we have this a bubble wand. Okay, so I did, and I'm going to, I'm not sure if that last basket I did needs any uh, shred, but I forgot to put my shred in there, but I will definitely fill it up with shred before um, it goes in the bag, this little cello bag. Um, and this is what reminded me of when I saw this uh, brown packing paper. <laughs> That's when I thought about it. Hey, I didn't put any shred in there, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll get it. Okay. Hi, Sandra. How you doing? Hello, Mrs. Telling the Truth, boss lady. How you doing? Okay. So, I have my dowel in the back. I'm definitely going to need that. And um, I'm going to start with my tallest item, which is my uh, LOL coloring book. Coloring and activity book. And because it's so flimsy, it needs something um, to hold it up and give it support in the back. Just put a little strip of tape, but just hold that to that acrylic dowel. Um, I think I taped it already. I'm going to 
put just some more tape on there just to be certain that I have it secure back here. Okay. So next I'm going to put in the backpack. nails over here. Just tape it across the back. I'm just taping the nail set to the LOL coloring book. Okay. I love these red sequins. They're so pretty. Okay, so that's a cute little backpack there. All right, um, I'm gonna put my bubble wand down inside the container and I'm going to tape it to the nail set like that. And uh, let's see here. That red and the teal one uh, was just so cute. The colors are just so vibrant. And I'm not going to take the uh, book bag at all. Because I don't want to damage it. Now what I will do is put a little bit of tape back here on this little tab. And um, I'll do that. But I don't want to put any, you know, call her dad. Okay, all right. Okay, I've done that. Okay, and my little bubble surprise. I'll go ahead and sit that right here. Make sure you can see that. Make sure you can see that. Okay. So let's see what I have left. I have my finger paint. I don't want to cover up my nope. wedge on here. Do I want to put it here? Right up here. Okay, and the next thing I want to put in is this little LOL coin purse. Just kind of sitting on the base. See, I'm going to get some tissue paper and put in that cup there. Put 
think I'll get the yellow. And I've been watching some videos. Some of you guys have been lucky enough to already have Easter orders. Anybody else on here got some orders in advance? I know, Kimberly, I know you got some. Thank you, Ivory Kisses. Thank you. deal if it's seen. It's just chalk. <laughs> okay. Um, next thing I'm going to put in is my little necklace. Probably put it over here. I still have my crayons that I need to put. Okay, so I'm going to Put some tape on this little gummy bear necklace. Okay, never in a million. All right. Okay. That's good. Okay, guys, if I disconnect, I am definitely going to um, get back on, but I'm going to try and see if I can keep you guys. Here while I take this this call. Because I know he should have checked his. Uh, text messaging by. Okay, guys, you still there? I think it worked. I'm always afraid to answer a call when um, I'm on a, a live. Okay, guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is put some glue dots on this egg here. And I'm going to place that in the container. Are you guys still there? Okay. All right, guys. Guys, are we still connected? <laughs> The time is still going on my end. I just want to make sure that you guys are still there. Okay, guys, good. I just want to make sure I still had you guys. 
So at least I know now I can, you know, send a text or something while the live is going on because I never knew if, if I could do that. And I would just avoid any uh, phone calls or anything while I'm doing the live. So that, I, that worked. All right. I just learned something new, y'all. Okay, guys. So the last thing I have for this gift is this my beautiful keychain. I got these in uh, four different colors. And um, it came from Dollar General. They had a really a good sale on them. I want to be seen with a pretty little smiley face. Okay. So I think this is going to be it for this gift, guys. It came out so pretty. And I'm going to put some shred in here. Um, I think, uh, let's see, what color do I want to use? I'll probably go with this. Let's add a little yellow. Spice it up with a little yellow. Especially since her hair is yellow, the cup is yellow, the little egg is yellow. I got a nice little bit of yellow going on in here. Also, guys, I was on Walmart online this morning and they had some uh, grass uh, shred for your uh, baskets. They were uh, 50 cents. So you guys may want to check there uh, and see um, if you can get some of it. The only color I was able to get was the green, which is okay. So I got a, about six bags of green. Really, Easter is the most I've ever used the color green um, for my shred. Turn my fan off because it's blowing my shred. Put some more tape on my little egg. It's opened up. I don't want my little treats to spill out. Okay. I'm just taking peeling off this uh Tape that I had on here that wasn't working well. And some of these eggs, some of these brand eggs are really easy to snap the uh, top to the bottom. And some of them is just a headache. So I'm going to put some new glue dots on here. All right, so we got that. And I think this one came out really good too, guys. Just 
looking for areas that need a little bit of shred and filling it in. Thank you, Philanda. Thank you so much. Hi, Gifts by Chosen. How you doing? Backpack is so pretty. And I really wanted to use a different color container. Um, but I couldn't find any. And so that's why I'm using a lot of this teal. A lot of my teal containers. Because I just can't find any. I'm going to be on the hunt. I'm really on the hunt now for some because Mother's Day, um, I may, I'll be lucky if I have a week uh, in between Easter and uh, Mother's Day to take a break because my uh, order should be coming in for my Mother's Day items. Then I'm going to have to go through and look through my uh, last year and see uh, what I have left. I know I have a lot of uh, Bath and Body Works because I've been slowly stocking up on that. Thank you, Sandra. Welcome. Okay, that's a good theme, uh, Gifts by Chosen. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to... Um, no, we're not finished with this one. We're going to get some snacks in here. That's what we're going to do. I got my snacks right here. We're going to get some snack snacks in here. Okay, I don't need this bubble wand. I don't know why I picked that up. I don't need the bubble wand. Okay, so let's get going with our snacks, guys. I think this is what the kids like most of all. In their little Easter basket. Now, I know they like the toys, too. Some. I guess I can have that back here. I think what I'll do is I'm going to put a little bit of tissue paper under this Capri Sun to hold it up because it's kind of heavy and I don't want it to uh, damage my chalk that I have back here as well. Okay, so let me get it 
just a little bit of shred to cover up some of that tissue paper just a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. There you go, there you go. Okay. I have a little opening back here as well. I'll go ahead and put my little fruit whips back here. And I'll turn it around so you guys can see. Okay. And these are some more snacks that I have back there. Um, and I probably could have just bought, stuck with the little small ones. And I want to get some different, just some different, different size snacks. So, some will have these uh, large packs of cookies, and some won't. back here. I don't want to cover up my little LOL doll there. Let me try my skittles over here. I'm going to turn it around guys when I finish this. Snacks here. Okay, and last but not least, my little airhead. Okay, first time I stuck it in the cup, but we're gonna let it sit right there. Okay, my Capri Sun does not want to stay still. Why I'm not sure. Piece of tape on this Capri Sun. Try to keep it in place here as best I can. If we are finished here, I'm going to turn it around so you can see it. I think I have done about all I can do on that one. Uh, this one, I won't put any cotton candy in. Um, because I just don't see where it would. I could put it here and put my ball on top. Let me try that at least and see what it looks like. I'm not going to give up this yet. Okay. Let's take the fruit snacks. Okay. And so I really didn't want to cover up my backpack too much, but I think that's okay, guys. I think that's going to be fine there. Okay. 
You guys think that's okay there? A little cotton candy container. Okay. And then what I was going to do is just sit the um, the LOL bubble surprise on top. And those of you that weren't at uh, the live one yesterday, uh, I'm not sure if Amazon, Amazon still has these, but they have the, the LOL bubble surprises uh, for $3 and something. And you guys know these things are very expensive. Even at the dollar stores, they're expensive. Um, so they have these for $3 and um, something. And um, the... Let me show you the little doll head. I got that one. I thought I had one I could show you. But anyway, the little doll head here, the little styling head, they have those for $3 and something as well. It's a... Um, three quantity limit per household so you only be able to get three but if you're creative you can find other ways to get them um i had my daughter order some so um you know you can do it that way too if you want to um because i just had to have more than three um and like i said that's a really good deal especially if you price them at other places you'll see that that three dollars is excellent Okay, so guys, that's our finished product on the LOL. Okay, I think they came out beautiful. And off camera, I'm going to do another one of these. Uh, it's a different color backpack, but everything else is the same. So I'm going to do another one of these. The only thing different is the styling head the color of the backpack and the color of the uh, gummy bear necklace everything else is is going to be the same okay so i'm going to take this and move it out the way so we can get to our next one Okay, guys, I also came up with an idea um, for these uh, pop-up sun shelters. These came from that Walgreens 90% off sale, the end of summer sale. Um, so for this, I was trying to decide how could I design it as an Easter gift for little ones because um, it's not going to hurt me to add some um, gifts for the little kids. Especially when you're talking about uh, a one year and under. Um, so, I'm going to, I thought about using this as a base. And I'm not sure if I would put a cardboard under it. Uh, of course, I'm going to wrap it uh, either with cello or with a cello bag. But the, the, I'm going to show you the idea that I came up with for this design. Because I know some of you probably got some of these. Um, but I think these would be perfect in a park or somewhere. Um, keep the sun off your baby. And then this one is a shark uh, theme at the top. And at the back is a net so that air can get in. Um, you know, circulate around the baby. So what I decided I'm going to do with these is... Um, more than likely, I will wrap a piece of cardboard and put under it uh, to stabilize it. But I think what I'm going to do is put my little bear in the center with the little blanket. And I'm going to add this uh, Mickey Mouse watercraft, little baby watercraft. So I'm just going to sit that here. Make sure everything... Well, pretty much going to design everything on the top of this sun shelter. Um, and I have this little sippy cup here. And um, I'm going to use the Capri Sun, like I said, because you can, um, you know, open this and pour it in the little sippy cup for the little ones. 
And then just add little snacks like, you know, the little Fruit Loop snacks. Little cookies. Little Chips Ahoy cookies. And little fruit snacks. Okay, so that was my idea for those little sun shelters. Just something really simple. I'm not going to put it in um, any basket or anything like that. I'm just going to um, wrap a piece of cardboard that is the width of the... Uh, and I may have my husband cut it uh, out in his little workshop. Just cut it in a circle. Just a little bit wider than the sun shelter. And I'll wrap it up and then put it underneath for stability and then put it over in my cello bag. Because I was wondering, how am I going to use that sun shelter in a gift? And so this is what I came up with. Okay, so they'll have a little plushie. They have a little, uh, little throw blanket. They have their little sun shelter. And uh, if they want to get in the water, they have their baby watercraft. And this sun shelter is six months and up. The watercraft, six to 18 months. So everything is kind of around in that age range. Okay. So what do you guys think about that concept? Okay. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this to the side. And we're going to get our next little gift. That we're going to be working on. Okay, I'm going to get some of these. Got a lot of items here, so let me get that. I don't know if I can get all of this in this gift, but I'm going to see. I'm going to get the most important things in first and then see if I still have room. Okay, guys. So this is the color container I have for this gift. We're going to be doing... A Jurassic World. I already have two or three of these in the a really tall tower design gifts. So this is going to be one that I'm going to design in a container. And this is the first time that I design uh, one of these in a container. Um, I've always used them in the, let's see, the first ones I made like this, I designed in the Jurassic World gift bag. So I did that design. I did a couple of the uh, tall tower gifts. And so this is going to be my first time doing one in, in a basket. So we're going we're gonna to see how that works out. Okay, guys. So as you see, I have my base already prepared. Uh, what I plan to put in is my little Jurassic World little dinosaur. My Jurassic World uh, Interactive Watch, Jurassic World Cup, my little dinosaur DIY Color Squish, this is Jurassic World Sticker and Color Activity, some sidewalk chalk, uh, crossbow, finally used all my crossbows guys, I had so many of those. This is a artboard set, paint your own artboard set. And when I get this paint, guys, I always shake it around just to make sure the paint hadn't dried out. So this one is good. And this is the Jurassic World Jumbo on the Go Adventure. And this is Jurassic World Beach Ball. And this was on sale at Family Dollar. I think it was a dollar. I think it was a dollar. Also, guys, my daughter, um, my stepdaughter that I told you uh, is bringing all the party stuff over to me. She bought a little pack of these little signs. Um, this one says dinosaur sight, so I'm going to use this in the gift. 
And this warning dinosaur crossing, I'm going to use this sign as well. And it was ironic, guys, because uh, these are some other... I'm not going to put these in, but these are some other uh, dinosaur items she gave me, and I'm trying to decide how to use them. This one is a... I don't know if you pronounce it Brach Brachiosaurus. <laughs> he's 48 inches tall, so he's four feet tall. And um, the bag she gave me had about 10 of the, uh, these signs in it. And I just happened to come across one that said Brachiosaurus ahead. So I thought that was unique. So I'm still trying to decide how I'm going to use these. Um, I'm not sure yet. How I want to, you know, uh, uh, put them into a gift. This one here is a T-Rex inflatable. He's 37 inches tall, so he's not, you know, not as tall as the other. And then she had one of the T-Rex signs, too. So these are some really nice ones. Once I come up with how I want to use them, I may have these in uh, my Easter lineup gifts as well. Um... So, we're going to get to this dinosaur gift, guys. Okay. I'm going to close this up. Let's put those out the way there. Okay, I was just checking to see if my Walmart order was here because I ordered my, my uh, ingredients for my tacos. So, all right, so I put my little acrylic dowel in the back because I know I'm going to need it because I'm going to put, um, oh, that's my honey bun. I'm going to put one of these um in the back turn to the outside like like so hey sweetie did you uh get my text message yeah finally because i was driving okay okay yeah because i text you before i started to let you know i was going to be doing a live okay um, I missed it. Okay. First, okay. I got it. I understood later on. Okay, because I sent you another text after that. Uh -huh. Once I figured out I can text and do everything uh, while I'm on the live. Yeah. Yeah. So I just learned that today. So. Okay. Good go. Okay. All right. Thank All you, right. sweetie. All right, you got it. Okay. So this is the back of the basket. So what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of tape just to. Um, Add the little sign to the dowel. May I ordered uh, uh, from Walmart. They should be here shortly. I uh, ordered from Walmart the tacos I'm going to make for dinner. Okay. And they should be here shortly. I ordered you some uh, the Sun Kiss Orange that you like. Yeah. I ordered those too. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. I gotta go back tomorrow, baby. Okay, Tasha. Okay, yeah, yeah. I know. I said. I said that too. That I'm hoping that the weekend is is it because I don't really like designing up to the last minute. I, I don't work well with that. Yeah, I, I get more stressed when I'm uh, working up to the last minute. So I always try to start planning and working as soon as I can. Okay, so this is going to be the back of the container. So we're going to turn it back around and let's see what's going in first. Let me get all my items in the front here. So I think this crossbow set is going to be the tallest of my items. So I'm just going to tape the sign that I turned to the back. I'm going to tape it to the crossbow set. Just put a little bit of tape on both sides, and then that's going to be put a little bit at the top as well. This is going to be the back of our gift. 
Okay. So next, let's see what I'm putting in by height. I'm going to go ahead and put... On the Go Adventure set and the um, Paint Your Own Art board set. I'm going to put those in next. So I'm just going to turn it to me. And I'm going to just put some tape across the bottom to connect both of them together. sliding because this really was sliding on this base okay so this is what we have so far okay this beach ball even though this is the front I don't like the way it looks maybe if I fold it over fold it over see that does look better so let me just fold the top of this over okay so I just fold over the uh, hang tag for this beach ball ball right here okay so we are coming along and let's see what we have I'm looking at what I have left so I can decide placement Hi, Betty. How Sylvia? Sylvia, you have a question? Happy Thursday to you, Betty. Okay, guys. So the next thing I'm going to put in is my little dinosaur. So I'm not sure how I want him to. And this little tail is going to give me trouble, I see. Trying to see how I want to, which is probably why I have never uh, designed him in a container. Huh. Is this little tail here. I'm going to have it hanging out the container a little bit. I think I know exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, it flipped over out the container. All right, come back here, little dinosaur. I'm going to put some fishing wire around his tail, probably one of his legs, too. And that's how I'm going to keep him in the container. He's really big and thick. So I'm just going to tie it around his tail. This is fishing, little fishing wire. And then I'm going to take the fishing wire to the container on the outside. And this is just going to help keep him stable. 
I think also what I'm going to do is put some tape under his uh, legs. So that'll help stabilize him as well. Okay, so I'm not going to cut it yet just to make sure uh, this idea works. I'm going to put just roll over a little bit of tape like this just to put under his little feet in the front so I can kind of get him secure to the base of the basket. And put one on each each leg. Okay. So I think that works. It's, it's really uh, attached good. So I'm going to go ahead and cut fishing wire. I think I got the little dinosaur securities he's going to get. Make sure they come undone. Alright guys, so, so far this is what we have. Okay. Also going to put this little warning dinosaur crossing. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I'm covering up the beach ball and some of the other things, but that's okay. I think this sign has a greater impact on the design, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover those items up. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, this is some of that little grass. I'm going to use it in this gift, too. This just came. Um, it's just uh, one ounce size. This is the grass that's 50 cents at Walmart. So if you need some, get online or go in the store, whichever one you prefer. Okay, uh, Sylvia, what, what are you saying? You noticed that... Oh, yeah. What I do is you can fill the bottom of your uh, container with anything. It could be craft paper, newspaper, small old boxes, whatever you can find. Then for the top, uh, if you go back and look at some of my videos, you'll see me cutting pieces of cardboard to, uh, to fit the uh, interior of the container. So once I fill it, this one has a box in it and it has craft paper and this is this is what the roll of craft paper looks like and because i order so much from amazon and other places all the time i save my boxes it's a headache especially if you got storage issues like me but saving those boxes uh helps me um and what i do sometimes i use the box as a as a uh, a container I wrap it with uh, wrapping paper, um, stuff it, and use it as a container for my gifts. But most of the time, I use it as a base for my gifts. So a container like this, I'll take a box, sit it in the bottom, 
I'll put my craft paper around the edges if needed. And then um, I will take another piece of cardboard and place it on the top. Sometimes I'll place it on the top. Sometimes once you put your box and your craft paper, you can cover it with tissue paper and start designing from that point. I do have a video. Um, I'm going to have to go through and look. I'm going to link it in the comments. It, show, it, it will show you how I designed the basket from beginning to end. Um, so in it, you'll see me using a box that's smaller than the container. You'll see me using uh, craft paper. And uh, once you make a secure base, then you can design your items well. Some people like to design with just craft paper on the top. I do that too. But, but my preference is to have a piece of cardboard um, on the top. Now, if you want to, um, you just have to really use the one that's, that works well for you. Um, you may like to just keep the craft paper as your base and build from there, but I like to use a piece of cardboard um, to uh, decorate from. So it's really up to you how, how you want to do it. Hi, SS Baskets, how you doing? Yeah, but that's just my preference. I When I first started uh, designing baskets, I just kind of went with what worked for me. Um, I'm sure there are other people that decorated like that, but I hadn't seen any. But that's just the way I do it. It works well for me. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to put in is... My little sticker and color activity little tin. No, they may, I may want to put my little dinosaur in. I love this. You can color your own, and it just happened to be a little dinosaur. So when I got it at the store, I said, This will go good with my Jurassic World basket, the little dinosaur. So I think I better put this one gonna kind of turn it to the side and I'm glad it's a clear bag because it's um, probably not going to cover up too much of anything but I probably will end up covering up some I always do I try my best to keep everything uh, open where you can see it sometimes I'm more successful than others I think what I'm going to do is see something I want to change here Give me just a second. So what I decided to do with this sign, I'm going to take it all the way up to the top. At first, I was just kind of not really at the top all the way, but I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take it all the way to the top so that when I add in my other little pieces, I may not cover it up. But the dinosaur crossing uh, was right at the bottom of the container. So I'm going to do it that way. I'll put the little, let's see, do I want to put something in his, look like he has something in his arms. Let me see here. <clears throat> just kind of got this up here like he has something in his arms. Let's see if I can go up a little bit more. I'm just kind of sit the corner of the container on the edge. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's not bad. 
So it looks like he's holding the sticker and color activity book. Or the 10. Sticker and color and activity 10. Okay, guys, so this is what I have. I decided to go ahead and put that 10 in his uh, arms. So I think that looks nice. Now we're going to continue with the pieces. Um, let's go ahead and put in my little bubble wand. I think I'll put it to the back here where the crossbow is. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I have this bubble wand secure. Okay, so I have my bubble wand back there. Now I'm going to place my, because I know I want to put the watch here. I want it in the front. My little cup there and this is a nice little watch guys this came from Walmart and it's a touchscreen interactive watch with camera fun games and more so they have on here that it's a camera video games calculator voice recorder uh, clock dials has an alarm um, settings pedometer to count your footsteps uh and an album viewer so it does a lot it does a lot so i'm sure some little kid will love this Okay, and then I'm just going to tape the um, watch. I think I might want to move it back some. Let's see, just a little bit. So we'll put a cup over here. Then we'll start adding our snacks. So the watch here still is covering up the dinosaur crossing just a little bit. But I can accept that part. Okay. It's just fine with me. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now I have it. All right. Just want to make sure I had it in the right spot. Okay, guys. Now we're going to add our snacks. Um, so let's see. I need to put something down in my cup. I 
And let me turn this to me and make sure it looks like my sign is kind of leaning a little bit. So let me get that, straighten that up a little bit here. <clears throat> straighter to me anyway. All right. Okay, I'm gonna put some tissue paper in the cup. put in, I'm going to try this little Walmart shred that just came. It's real thick. It's really thick. This green uh, shred is really good for this thing. There's no dinosaurs are going to be out roaming around in the grass and different places. So that's perfect. Okay, let's see here. My box moved a little bit. Start adding our snacks. I love this green color. It's a deep, deep green. So I really like that. Okay, guys. All right, so I'm going to get the grass out the way and we're going to get to the Get to the snacks. Okay. 
Okay, one thing I need to put in is my little chalk here, my little sidewalk chalk. I forgot about that. So I use some of the dark colors that are in the um, items for this. So I didn't want to put any pastels in it. Always probably like a little darker color, you know, chalk and stuff anyway, so. Okay, so let's see what snacks we have here. What I do is always take my little bag in the back in my office and fill up my snacks. <laughs> then bring them up here so I can put them in the gifts. Okay, let's see here. This cotton candy is always my problem, guys. Now, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this DIY squish. I'm going to take him out of this area he's in. And I'm going to put my cotton candy in that spot. But there's absolutely no other place for it to go. Put it back there. I'll just use a little bit of tape to secure our cotton candy over here. Try not to put tape on the design because it will take the design off. Okay, so I am going to still go ahead and incorporate my little DIY little dinosaur squish. I'm going to go ahead and tuck him back here. Oh, let's see. So, so I'll put him here. Put them in the back because I don't want to cover that sign up. Even though I may have to put something there. Because my snacks may end up being a problem. I just folded the tab over. I just let it go like that. I just folded the top chain tag over so I can at least get this dinosaur in here. Okay, guys. So we're going to start first with our <coughs> Doritos. Doritos over here. Okay. And the next large thing I have is my Capri Sun. Okay. And that's a little spot back here. Just put a little bit of grass here. Put some back here. Okay, so I'll tuck the Capri Sun back here.
Okay, so we're going to turn it back around. I'm going to put my little fruit loops here. Chips boys here. I'm just putting them there for now. They can go there. Their grams. Okay, I'll put these toward the back. here. Just bring them over to the side here. Okay, let's see what's going on here with my the dinosaur has come apart, guys. have him um, secured has come undone. At least one side has. So let's see what I can do to fix this and get it back. Get it back on here. I might need to it in the front as well. And I secured this uh, fishing wire in the back, so I'm going to secure one spring in the back and one in the front. Because I really don't want to put any really thick tape, so I'm just going to use the regular scotch tape to hold the fishing wire. Fit snug on that one one piece of fishing wire. The other piece let let out. So I'll just take it in the front here, and I think that is going to hold. We'll see anyway. thing I have here, I'm going to put some more tape on this little tin that I have him hold it. I'm just going to hold that back some. a little bit so I can get it nice and secure. I want this to kind of be in his arms a little bit. Let me see. Let me adjust this a little bit. Just a little bit. Now he's looking more like he's resting on it, but it doesn't matter. 
long as he's touching it, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, my little egg, one of my little eggs in the front. So I'm just going to put one little egg down here in the front. All right, guys. And we have an airhead here. I'll just tuck that right there in the front. Okay. I'll sit my Skittles on top of the cotton candy. Then I have another pack of cookies. Okay, here's my chips of hoys here, guys. Let's see. I think I'm really gonna be up here. Candy container. Go ahead and put these in. Okay, guys. So here is our finished product on the dinosaur, our Jurassic World. Okay, anybody have any questions? going to do one more small one. Hi, Bella Dog. Hi, Ashley Lyles. Okay, guys. So I'll take this one to the side here. And I'm not going to put very many snacks in this gift. And what I'm going to do is uh, I have two. Uh, and both of these are Squishmallows. And they're going to be designed uh, in similar fashion. Um, so what I'm going to do first is put something in my little eggs here. sell locally um bella dog but if you want to order you can go online there are a lot of uh youtube's uh channels and other uh, etsy shops and ebay shops that sell baskets um i only sell local so if you're in memphis you can buy from me but if you're not in memphis uh unfortunately i don't ship So 
little tab off here off this edge. Well, some of my eggs, even though they have that little tab holding the top to the bottom, sometimes they break and that tab is just sticking out, serving no purpose, so I always cut it. Memphis is in Tennessee. swoop but this one doesn't want to come off this one will come off in about seven pieces <laughs> oh well okay guys so these are the little containers I got from uh, Dollar Tree and I'm going to fill them with the uh, Squishmallows I needed more medium and small gifts so that's what I'm really uh working on now some medium and smalls okay so these guys I'm not going to do my uh, custom uh, putting a box in them because they're so small so in these uh, baskets I will use craft paper only Base. Use all this noise, guys. I got noise going on here. Okay, so let me get one more piece for this other side. So these are my Squishmallows we're working today with Mate, Mate, and Nevin. I love their little names. Okay, guys. So I put my little craft paper in the bottom. And uh, I am going to... And there's not many elements to this uh, design. So um, this is something that's going to be, you know, pretty simple. You know, for some customers that don't really want to spend much, you know, they can, uh, you know, buy something like this. So what I'm going to do now is cover up my craft paper with uh, a piece of tissue paper. Just a little piece of lilac uh, tissue paper here. Kind of matches the little squish metal. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of shred, especially this little purple I have in here. And I balled it up, guys, because some of the uh, shred that I buy is real stringy. And uh, I love it. And all I have to do is just, if I want a curve in it or want it to come like the traditional and I'll just ball it up and get the same look. I get the same look, guys. Let's go ahead and use this little purple up. There's not much left in here. I'll put it in with the pink. Okay. Alright, 
So this color here, I'm going to just go ahead and put this in the top of orange. Just go ahead and cover up my craft paper with that. And I am going to put some pink on that. base before I get started. And I noticed they're quickly selling out of these little Easter uh, little baskets and buckets too uh, at the uh, Dollar Tree. Okay, so I have that I have both of my bases ready. Okay. So I'm not sure if I'm going to need to use an acrylic dowel. Uh, I'm going to put it in first and see how it holds up. If I need to put one in, I will. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to put in is the coloring book. This one is going to have a little Minnie Mouse Jumbo Coloring and Activity Book. Okay, so all I did was just put it in the back of the container. And for this one here, I'm going to go ahead and put this little Crayola Vivo Coloring Book in the back okay so you can see we have these two here okay so the coloring book is going to serve as our backer too guys okay all right so the next thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and put our little squish mellow in And probably what I'll do since, oh, this has the same back. Okay, I don't have to change my coloring books around. Um, front and back are identical. Okay, so I have this Squishmallow here. And I always keep the tags on with their names. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one down in here. Okay. Now what I'll do is just put a little bit of tape to connect the Squishmallow to the coloring book. Not much at all. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to continue adding my pieces. I'm going to put in my... Um, Crayola Bathtub Finger Paint Soap, the Screaming Green. I'm going to add that to this one because we have the green and pink going here. I'm not going to tape it yet. I have the Lilac Purple here. I'm not going to tape that just yet. And I think I need a little bit more height here in this corner here. For some reason, it's just really dipping down a lot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this down. Just take one side of the Finger paint soap to the container. Okay, this one is not drooping too much, so I'm going to go ahead and just take that. Okay, so we have our little uh, finger paint soap in. Next, I want to go ahead and add in my sidewalk chalk. I'm going to tuck of this 
plastic bag, tape it back some. Bit of extra tissue paper, give me a little bit more height. I'm gonna get a little bit of tape and take this sidewalk chalk to the container. I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. And this chalk has four, this is a Crayola chalk I had already pre packaged, so it has four. Uh, pieces of chalk in this one and three in this one. This one is uh, round and they're shaped different. Um, so I was able to get a different amount inside. Okay, let's see here. I think I got this backwards. I sure do. I'm place it. Four here. Okay, guys. Making sure you guys can see. And the next thing I'm going to put in is the crayons to go with the coloring book. I'll just sit the crayon back instead of taping it to the container. I'll just let it rest on the Squishmallow. Okay. And so next, oh, I could put it like that. I'll just go ahead and have it like that. Okay, so I went ahead and just put the little box of crayons behind the um, chalk. Okay, so now I have all of my Essential elements in. Now I'm going to add my snacks. So I'll just put the Welch's here. I'll use the green uh, pack of Skittles. All right, so let's see here. I also have a little egg here. I have room for it. I have a little room for that little egg. We're going to let that the egg stay. And let's see here, what else do I have? I have the Oreos. Let's 
Okay, I could just lean it back. That would be nice. Let's stay back like that. I can deal with that. And we have our little airhead here. towards me. Okay, guys, so I have one completed here. Okay, it's going to be a nice little simple little basket. Okay, just for parents that want to make sure their kids get something, but they're not going to spend a lot on it. And I understand that. Okay, so this next one, I am going to go ahead and get my fruit snacks in. And also put these Skittles. Let's see if we got any pink, pink bags. Nope, already used them. So I think I'll go ahead and just use the purple. You still working, babe? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to finish in a minute. I'll get dinner started. Okay, man. Try to get this. You working on something for tomorrow? Temporarily. Okay. Using my little purple to go with my little purple and my little squishmallow here. Um, he gonna be color coordinated a little bit, or she is. Okay. Okay, just lean that backwards, and we're going to add our little airheads here. So it's nice when you can add the color, uh, coordinate the color of your snacks with your uh, items in your gift. I think this makes it look extra, extra special. Okay. Got it. Okay, guys, so here's our two little nice little small to medium sized gifts. All right, we have our squish mellow. We have our soap, our little Crayola soap. We have our snacks, our crayons, our uh, sidewalk chalk. I think these came out beautiful, guys. All right, guys, anybody have any questions 
I forgot to put my little egg in this one, so I'm, I'm using a purple egg, guys. We're sticking with that purple theme on this one. So we're going to continue with that. All right. All right, Commander Alpha Turkey, thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, guys. No questions. We're going to wrap up for today. I really enjoyed you guys taking out time to come to the live as I wind down on these Easter gifts. Those of you that are listening and working, don't work too hard, but I know you're going to get it done, so don't worry. All right, guys, so I will talk to you guys on the next uh, video. I really appreciate you taking out time to join me today. And uh, as always, I love you, and I'll see you guys on the next one.